Hey there movie fans, uh, this is going to be part one of a series of uh, shelf by shelf videos of my Blu-ray collection. Uh, some people have asked me if I want to do this because uh, I haven't done these kind of video for almost two years so I think it's about time uh, that I've, you know, that I do this. Um, of course, over you know, in, in, in the time of those two years, I added a lot of new Blu-rays, but also sold a few Blu-rays as well. But um, anyway, let's get started. First up is the Australian uh, tin case of cards. This is not an official Blu-ray release, uh, but this is actually a DVD release, but I got rid of the uh, DVD and, and put the uh, Blu-ray in it. This is from Australia, by the way. Uh, this is the Tin Case of Dread. This is from uh, French. Here we have the Italian edition of A Fistful of Dollars. Uh, this is the limited edition of uh, Batman Begins with the uh, lenticular cover. Uh, Anonymous. This is the, uh, the German media book. And this is also the German media book of uh, Assault and Precient 13. This is the German media book of uh, The Big Gun Down. And here, uh, be careful with this one, it, is, it has press. Uh, this is uh, Della Morte Della More, 3 disc collector's edition from uh, 84. There is a another uh, media book of this movie also by 84 which has a much much better um, uh, artwork than this one if you ask me I know that um, Philip um, Harry Macabre crazy has that one he showed it in one of his videos and the artwork looks far far better than, than this one uh, this is another um, German release uh, of Black Swan comes with the uh, lenticular cover as you can see here. Um, the African Queen, great classic film with Humphrey Bogart and uh, Catherine Hepburn. This is Up, which has these um, embossed little balloons as you can see. <coughs> This is a Chinese film, Aftershock. Um, this Blu-ray is also from uh, from China. Let me show you what the uh, inside looks like. Like a, a ditchy pack, as you can see. There's a disc. And here is my number, 283 out of 728. Very nice release and a beautiful film as well. This is the Comic-Con exclusive um, steelbook of Sucker Punch, the G1 steelbook, or Generation 1, you know, the uh, DVD size steelbook. Uh, the Brits on the River Kwai, this is a very thick, uh, ditchy book. Uh, up here we have 9, this is kind of like a horizontal ditchy book. Um, the Digibook of Batman Begins, and this is the Digibook of ba uh, outside the Dark Knight. The, yeah, the Dark Knight, and this is the Dark Knight Rises from uh, Target with the uh, lenticular uh, front cover. There, it's still uh, still brand new. By the way, I still I still need to um, still need to, need to open this one. And this is the Target exclusive Dishy book of Man of Steel, which also comes with the uh, lenticular cover. Okay, now for the regular uh, keep case editions. Uh, the first one is 12 Years a Slave, brilliant film. Uh, 127 Hours. This is the Zavi exclusive steel book of 13 Assassins. The Canadian steelbook of 2001 A Space Odyssey. And this is the sequel, 2010, The Year We Made Contact. 
Here we have 2012. This is the Australian steelbook. A very beautiful steelbook as well. <clears throat> uh, three Days of the Condor from the Studio Canal collection. 30 Days of Night. This is the Dishy Book of 300. The complete experience, as it says here. Uh, 36, uh, an excellent French uh, police thriller. The remake of 310 to Yuma, 48 hours. This is the Dutch steelbook of 8 Mile. And here is the German media book of AI, Artificial Intelligence. Uh, the Explosive Extended Edition of the 18. I really enjoyed the, enjoyed the movie, by the way. And this is the stew book, the Dutch stew book of the Adventures of Tintin, the Secret of the Unicorn. Here is the Dishy book of an affair to remember. Africa, one of the uh, BBC Earth documentaries. Uh, Agora, Air Force One, uh, the UK steelbook of Akira, here is Alice in Wonderland, which I did enjoy, it is not one of uh, Tim Burton's best, but, you know, it is enjoyable, the Dishy book of All About Eve, and this is the digital book of uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. And here we have the digital book of All the President Men. Uh, the American. Very good film. American Graffiti by George Lucas. This is the uh, Canadian steel book of American History X. Brilliant film. Absolutely brilliant film. Uh, here's a lovely film, An American in Paris, with Gene Kelly. This is the horizontal steelbook of An American Werewolf in London. I'll show you at the back here. Uh, Amour. Really good film. Anaconda. <laughs> it's a little, a little strange, isn't it, from uh, Amour to something like Anaconda, but, you know, what can I say, I, I, I love my uh, guilty pleasures. Uh, Angel Heart. Uh, another Year. Uh, any Given Sunday. Um, I'm not a fan of American football movies, but this is, you know, to, to me they're all the same, but this is really, really good. I really enjoyed this one. This is the Dutch stew book of uh, Apocalypse Now. And here we have the collector's edition set of Apocalypse Now, which has some you know, art cards and, and booklets and some other stuff as well. Apocalypto by Mel Gibson. The Dutch stew book of uh, Apollo 13. Appaloosa. Uh, Great Western by um, uh, Ed Harris. The Canadian uh, Future Shop, I believe. Uh, exclusive Steelbook or Argo. Yeah, I think this is the uh, Future Shop um, exclusive. Uh, as good as it gets. Assembly. Uh, really good Chinese World War II. Is it World War II? Uh, no, it's not World War II. This is the, uh, the Civil War. The Chinese Civil War. But still a very good film. Uh, Attack the Block. This is the, um, um, Play.com exclusive Glow in the Dark slipcover. Here is the Digibook of Atonement. And here is the UK steelbook of Avatar. This is the theatrical uh, version. And here we have the extended version 
of Avatar. This is, I believe this is the Korean steelbook. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Here we have the uh, UK steelbook of the Avengers. Ballade Triste de Trompetta, also known as The Last Circus. A crazy, crazy, but fun uh, Spanish movie. Barbarella, Queen of the Galaxy, with a beautiful uh, embossed uh, slipcover. Basic Instinct, the 1966 movie version of Batman. Uh, I'm waiting for the... Uh, for the television series from uh, from the 60s, uh, there are rumors that they're gonna release that uh, later this year, so I'm looking forward to that. Here we have the Batman anthology, you know, with the Tim Burton and George Schumacher's uh, Batman movies. Now you're probably wondering why do I have Batman and Robin in my collection? Well, the thing is, uh, I enjoyed the movie. And the reason why why I enjoyed it is because it is so bad. You know, George Schumacher actually apologizes for this movie. You know, this, and he has my respect for that. And there, there isn't many film directors who would uh, apologize for their work. But the uh, sad thing is that people tend to forget that Schumacher has made some good movies before Batman and he made some good movies after, after Batman. But they only know him from you know the Batman movies that he did, and that's 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 quite a shame if you ask me. Uh, this is the UK steelbook of Battle Los Angeles. Uh, you know it was a decent film. Uh, the Aliens looks ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, Battle Beyond the Stars. I saw it for the guy there. Roger Corman movie. Mario Bava's Bay of Blood. Baz Luhrmann's epic romances box set with uh, Australia, Moulin Rouge, and Romeo and Juliet. It's a very good Korean film, Bedeviled. Beetlejuice. Being There. Uh, Belle de Jour, another Studio Canal collection release. Uh, a Dutch film, um, The Gang of Oz. Beowulf, director's cut. Lucio Fulci's The Beyond, uh, fantastic film, absolutely. Uh, the Big Country, The Big Gun Down, the uh, Grindhouse releasing. Uh, the Big Heat, which is now sold out, uh, fantastic uh, film noir. This is the digital book of The Big Lebowski, great film. Uh, the steelbook, UK steelbook of uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Dario Argento's uh, The Birds with the Crystal Plumage. Uh, the Bishop's Wife. Bite the Bullet. This is a magnificent Korean film. Uh, a Bittersweet Life, the director's cut. This is the Korean um, digi book. Very beautiful release. Uh, Black Book by Paul Verhoeven. Black Dead. The UK stew book of Black Hawk Down. Black Lightning. This is the German stew book of Black Rain. And here we have one of Maria Bava's best movies without a doubt Black Sunday really really good film Black Torn uh, Blade Runner the 5 disc complete collector's edition The Blue Lagoon uh, The Blue Max Blue Thunder Blue Velvet The Blues Brothers Blood Diamond and here we have the first three um, seasons of Boardwalk Empire. The Boat That Rocked, also known as Pirate Radio. Body of Lies. Oh, sorry for the uh, glare there. 
uh, the Bougans. Born on the 4th of July by Oliver Stone. This is the Born Trilogy, and here we have the UK Stew Book of the Born Legacy. Boys Don't Cry. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, Brock Crow, the first complete first season. And here we have the German limited sin edition of Braveheart, which is, you know, uh, pretty much a dishy book, a very thick dishy book with a lenticular cover, as you can see there. Very, very nice release. Uh, bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia, uh, Broken Trail, Bronson, Brotherhood of the Wolf, fantastic film this one, great, great fantastic film. Uh, the Brothers Grimm, which is a very troubled production uh, from uh, Terry Gilliam, but you know, I, I did enjoy it. Um, Bullet to the Head. With Sylvester Stallone, and this is a Steve McQueen classic, Bullet. Buried, really good film. Uh, Burn After Reading, one of the best slashers from the 1980s. Well, not only from the 1980s, just of all time, really. The Burning, wonderful release from uh, Shout Factory. This is the UK steelbook of Byzantium with the lovely Gamma Arterton. Here we have the UK steelbook of The Cabin in the Woods. Um, the pretty much hard to get, uh, uh, you know, Arrow edition of Caligula. I mean, the, the Blu-ray itself is, it, oops, the Blu-ray itself, uh, you, you can find that, but you know, the slipcover, appears to be you know very hard to get the original version of Cape Fear and here we have Scorsese's remake of Cape Fear uh, the UK stew book of Captain America the first adventure and here we have the UK stew book of Captain Phillips the car the UK horizontal steel book of uh, Kalidos Way. Um, Carrie. And the Carrie remake with the beautiful lenticular slip. Carriers. Uh, pretty good film about a, a deadly virus. This is the Dutch steel book of Casino. And here we have the deluxe edition of Casino Royale. Argento's The Cat on Nine Tails. Uh, Cell 211, a fantastic uh, Spanish prison movie. Changeling. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The Chaser. Here we have uh, the Horizontal Steelbook of Children of Men, also from uh, the UK. Um, Chinatown, with a very nice slipcover. Chocolate, this is a really, really good uh, martial arts movie from um, uh, Thailand. Uh, you know, if, if you love martial arts films and you haven't seen this, do go check it out. It has some really good uh, fight scenes in it. It is the, um, you know, out of print, sold out, uh, Twilight Time edition of uh, um, Christine. The UK stew book of Chronicle. Pretty good film, actually. I did not expect it to be uh, that good. The Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, City of Life and Dead, one of the most impressive films I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, uh, City of the Living Dead by Lucio Fulci. Here we have the Digi Book of Class of the Titans, a Harryhausen classic. 
And here is the remake of Clash of Titans, which comes with the uh, lenticular cover. I don't know if my camera can catch that image. No, I enjoyed it to be honest. I really did enjoy it. This is the Japanese uh, set of Cleopatra, 50th anniversary edition. Very beautiful set. Comes with a, uh, a hardcover booklet. Yeah, very beautiful set, and uh, I like the movie, even though it, it is very long, but, you know, the, the Blu-ray transfer looks fantastic. Here is the Digi book of uh, Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. The 30th Anniversary Ultimate Edition of um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And here we have uh, Cloud Atlas, a very underrated film. And last but not least, I have the UK Steelbook of Cloverfield. So that was that was it for my Blu-ray collection of Shelf One. Uh, next up will be the Blu-ray, the Blu-rays of Shelf Two, of course. So uh, stay tuned for that, and bye for now.